I'd like to give a shout out to the newest member of the comment club. If you want to join the comment club, make sure you leave a comment below. What is going on guys? This is the Kranz Melt here and we've got a ton of new content since my last video. So let's get into it. To start off, we got the Color Rush jerseys. There's 35 sets. I'm going to break those down at the end of the video. Most of you guys already know about it, and I don't want to bore you guys. A lot of people complain that I talk too much at the beginning of the videos. Still going to happen with the Team of the Week cards, but we're going to save the Color Rush for the end. So we got the new Team of the Week cards available in Ultimate Team right now, and it looks like Melvin Ingram. Ingram. People always say I say it freaking wrong. I don't care. Melvin Ingram right here. Should be a nice outside linebacker, but let's take a look at the set first. So we got Kelvin Benjamin, Taylor Lewan, Landon Collins, LeGarrette Blunt, and Mark Barron. I really like all of these cards. Like, it's crazy. So this one I'm going to look at. I haven't seen the stats on all these cards, but I like the concept of all these cards. If that makes sense. Uh, I actually don't like the hero cards, to be honest with you. But take a look at these. 7K for a left outside linebacker that used to be a safety. So he's going to be a very usable card. If that's the right way to say it 86 speed with 83 block shed very nice 86 acceleration with 91 hit power let's take a let's do a quick comparison to um let's do telvin smith a very similar style card mark baron's got a huge boost in both hit power and block shed um and strength actually acceleration is down speeds down tackle is down a little bit actually tackles down a good bit uh, play rec is also down. Both these cards are really solid. 68 catching. Uh, Tuffin Smith's got 76 catching. Um, if you want a user card, I think Mark Barron's going to feel a little bit more, you know, agile. He's going to be able to make some cuts that Telvin Smith probably won't be able to make. So pretty cool. I do love the block shit on this card. It's very good. Um, he has 82 zone coverage by himself. So honestly, you don't even need to use him. A solid card for only 7,000 coins right now. Definitely recommend you guys pick him up if you have the coin and you need the spot. Take a look at LeGarrette Blunt here. 44K right now. 84 speed. Look at this. 94 trucking. Do you know what you can do with 94 trucking? You can, you can bulldoze some guys. <laughs> you like this card is going to be so nasty. I kind of want to get it. Um, and that's, keep in mind, guys, this is an 80 overall. If he gets any more upgrades this year, oh, man, it's going to be nasty. Just keep that in mind. Uh, Landon Collins last year was one of the first golden tickets, if not the first. 15K for him. Let's check out the stats. 88 speed. Would have loved to see that higher. Only 79 zone coverage. 91 hit power. 71 man. Honestly, this is a good user strong safety. It really wouldn't spend much um, much time not being usered on my team. So if you get them, definitely recommend to use them. Uh, let's take a quick look at Taylor Lewan. Usually he's got really good cards, really good stats on his cards. So let's check him out. 87 strength, 77 speed. Not bad for a left tackle. Uh, 84 run block and 85 pass block. Stats aren't amazing this year, but he usually has really high awareness. This year it's only 82. So... Maybe it's really low awareness and he had high run block. One of the two. I don't freaking remember. Let's take a look at this Kelvin Benjamin card. Had a huge game. Going for 95k right now. Might fluctuate. Might go up. Might go down. I, I think the set card really isn't that good today. So, um, Kelvin Benjamin might not go for too much. 86 speed. 89 catching. 92 spec catch. 92 catch and traffic. Man. Oh, man. I got a similar card that I can compare this to in Alshon Jeffrey. A little bit faster. Uh, Elshon Jeffrey's got the better jumping, uh, better catching. But really, like, these cards are pretty equal. Uh, Jeffrey's got a lot better route run. But really, those catching stats on, on um, Kelvin Benjamin are really, really nasty. One thing I always like to check, you guys know it, run block. For some reason, the man's only got 48 run block. I don't know what's up with that. Should have a lot higher. He's such a big wide receiver. Normally, those big guys have a lot better blocking. Unfortunately, I checked the block. There's no Melvin Ingrams up right now, so I can't show you guys the stats on it. But go check out Mudhead.com if you guys want to see the stats. 
Honestly, I don't think the card is really that great. So I decided why just talk about it and tell you guys to go to Mudhead. I'll pull up Mudhead on my own. 83 speed. Okay, 88 block shit. I like it. Um, 87 play rec. 93 finesse moves. Pretty nice. But honestly, nothing really stands out on this card. A good outside linebacker for a 3-4 system. But honestly, you can get somebody for a lot cheaper that's going to be able to do just as well. All right, and the limited time card, Matt Ryan, currently going for 170K. Seems like a pretty decent price right now. Um, and I really like this card, actually. 75 speed. He's not a he's not a mobile quarterback. He's a pocket passer who could, every once in a while, make somebody miss in the, you know, getting out of the pocket or whatever. Uh, but 89 throw power, 92 throw accuracy short, 91 medium, and 86 deep. He also has 80 throw on the run, which is kind of low, but honestly, it's not too bad. All right, before we get into the Color Rush stuff, I wanted to show you guys the new packs that are available, the Color Rush pack. Three guaranteed Color Rush items. There's gonna be three items per pack with six gold or better, three silver players, and three team items. I like this bundle, um, especially if you're trying to go for the Color Rush uniforms, which I personally am. Uh, maybe even to get the Todd Gurley, if I figure it's worth it. I don't know, I gotta look at the stats more, but the way it's looking, it's not going to be worth it. But we are going to go ahead and do this bundle. Uh, we also, there's more sets for elite players if you do like eight of the, the uniform sets. I'll show you guys the uniform sets at the end of the video if you want to see it, so stick around. Also, really quick shout out to MVPDraft.com. Guys, link for that is in the, the, in the description. They are the sponsor for today's video, so go check them out. All right, so let's go ahead and buy this bundle here. A pretty nice bundle. I'm pretty pumped. Uh, hopefully we can maybe get our first limited time pool. We're gonna start off with the color rush topper. I think it's like I think it was a Blank uniform which you use for the uniform sets and I think it's like a bunch of items with it So shouldn't be too bad. We're getting a color rush Titans item right there Getting another Titan so we could do the Titans You need two of the each team to do it and I like the Titans uh, chemistry. So that's pretty nice Redskins uh, there's our blank uni. Another Titans. If Titans are going for a lot, we should be good. Another blank uniform. Uh, Bills and uh, Panthers. I like the Panthers jersey. So not bad. Um, there are a few that I do want to particularly go out there and uh, pick up. So not bad starting off. I definitely wanted to get the Titans anyway. So that kind of helps me there. Um, I don't know if any of the other ones go for the chemistries I want. So guys, definitely check out. The color rush uniforms if you're trying to get like a tier two chemistry definitely is going to help you so much um just because you know each jersey goes for a chemistry so if you can get two getting a dolphins right there if you can get two oh there's a texans if you get two let me finish what i'm trying to say if you get two uniforms basically it's going to upgrade you to tier two for most of the chemistries which is really cool um so definitely check it out it's a lot cheaper than buying a gold jersey or a gold coach, which are way overpriced for some of the um, the chemistries that like Verts. Verts is so expensive because people, you know, they realize you have to get the gold coach for it. So this is a way to maybe get those chemistry tier twos that you want a lot cheaper. Um, so I, I like it. I think it's a pretty good idea. It definitely is going to help me out. I know it'll help a ton of you guys out there that we're trying for chemistries as well. So. Let's go ahead and uh, start looking at these cards. We're getting a Steeler Color Rush right there. Getting a Cowboy. So I think we got two. Matt Forte, who had a huge week. Surprised he didn't get a Team of the Week card. But they decided not to get a Matt Forte. That's an alright card. Definitely nothing spectacular. But we will take whatever we can get here today. Uh, 82, DeAndre Levy. We got a 75, Ely. Eh. 75s, they're, they're kind of trash at this point, but I mean, I know that a lot of the players actually went up in value because of Color Rush uniforms. So definitely, if you have a lot of players in your binder, like I have probably over a thousand players that I'm going to end up selling a lot of them now um, just because their value is way up. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind, guys, if you have something. Ooh, a Jalen Ramsey card. Very good gold. Uh, cornerback there. Ooh, a Seahawks. I think the Seahawks are pretty expensive. A lot of people want that. Another Titans. Definitely going to check to see how much the Titans are going for. I know a lot of people want the Verts chemistry. Um, so maybe maybe that's a, a nice commodity that people want to try to get. 
Uh, who knows? Who knows? Gold player. Oh, it's a Cardinals. I love the Cardinals jerseys. I might end up getting one of those too. Um, it sucks because I spent a good chunk of change on my Eagles throwbacks, like the 30s throwbacks, the blue and the yellow ones. Um, and, and I honestly think with the color rush, I probably won't use them much anymore. So, kind of sucks, especially with the chemistry. Like, you can't get much better than a chemistry boost on a car. Getting a Browns right there. Ooh, and an official away alternate. There's a new set where you can throw those in, get a blank uniform, which is pretty cool. Another Cowboys, Jason Witten, Okong, Julius Peppers. I hope that we get a, a boss, ultimate legend, uh, Julius Peppers this year. We didn't get it. I don't think he had an ultimate legend last year. It was the year before. Everybody loved user in that card. It was insane. Yeah, so definitely would be awesome to see that again. Last card in the pack. Doo doo. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next pack. What are we going to get? I think we might have one more available. Let's take this one all the way back. Not stopping. Not stuttering. We're going all the freaking way. Uh, hopefully, we can get another Elite. I, would, I think it's time for a Team of the Week limited time pool. Probably it won't happen, but it would be pretty freaking sweet. I know last year, I, that's when I got all my limited time cards was at the beginning of the year. I didn't get any at the end of the year. So it kind of sucked, but I mean, at least I got something. Some people didn't get any. So we got three color rush in a row right there. Bills, Chiefs, Dolphins. Not bad. Nothing spectacular, though. I don't think I'm going to get any of those three. I don't know. I definitely have to look at them again, see what the chemistries on them are. But uh, yeah, let's back out. How many packs do we have left? It says zero. We got two left. We got our all pro pack left, and we also have a color rush pack. I think this was the Mutt Reward, so let's go ahead and open it up. I think it's a blank jersey and, like, two random team collectibles, or it's tips. Two tips and a blank uniform. I can't complain. The blank uniform will help. That's what I need to be able to do the set, so... I'll definitely take it. Let's go ahead and do the all pro pack. Hopefully we have enough room after that to open up two more color rush uniforms. Now this is the all pro pack I get for having the deluxe edition of the game. Uh, last year I had super deluxe. This year I just got deluxe um, from Mutt Rewards. So let's see if it's going to be worth it. I know last year I really didn't get anything to make it worth it. Uh, I think I maybe had like one elite pool from the packs that I got. I wouldn't say it's worth it to pay extra for it. Ooh, a Delaney Walker's pretty nice, though. He usually has really good run block. 87 run block. Holy cow, man. We're definitely he's going to be in our offense somehow. Definitely will be in the run game. Yeah, we'll put him out there somehow for the run game at least. That's insane. Uh, so we should have two color rush packs left. Let's hope we can get lucky. Clutch something out here at the end. I should have to make some more binder space, I believe. Yeah, I'm over. I'm just going to quick sell. Uh, maybe throw the, the tip that I get in the set and then quick sell, you know, one of the items or something like that. Just to make enough for me to open up the final pack. Um, nothing. This pack's, pack opening has been super dry. I hate when bundles. This is an expensive bundle. You know, we, come out, we came out here on a limb trying to get something. And it looks like we're not going to even get, you know, two elites. Like, this is insane. Uh, but, you know, these, really, the reason why I pulled these bundles were for the Color Rush collectibles. So, I mean, I can't be too mad, but but still, it, it is frustrating when you, you spend all this money on these packs and, and you really don't get much. So, let's throw it in the awards, and I think we'll quick sell one more. Um, and then we'll go ahead and open up the final Color Rush pack. Come on, EA! Give me something! Give me something, please. I don't want to have to go in my color rush crying because I only pulled one elite in this bundle. Getting another Seahawks color rush collectible. Not bad at all. Those things are going to go for a little bit of coin. So I like that. I like that. A Texans right there. I don't know if theirs is going for anything. Uh, come on. We're nearing the end. I, I feel the end. Byron Jones right there. I wish he would have been drafted to the Eagles. They need some def defensive back help. Last card. Going to be a gold. Mark Barron. So a team of the week card. Only 7K. But honestly, I might I might try to squeeze him in my off, on my defense. 
I like his stats. I like his uh, his zone coverage. Pretty nice. I I'm going to see if I can squeeze him out there. He's like having a like super defensive back out there. Like good good speed. Good zone coverage. Good uh, decent man coverage for a linebacker. But 83 blocks is super huge for uh, any linebacker in the game. So definitely wasn't too bad. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into those sets. All right, guys, I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as possible. So we got the 32 alternates that turn into a blank uniform. Um, alternates price probably has shot up a little bit, but you can put silver, gold, or elite alternate jerseys in here. So not bad at all. Um, and you need the blank uniforms to do the sets below. So kind of is helpful. We got the eight color rush elite collectibles turns into one color rush elite player. You can get a 30k card or you can get a card that's up to like three or 400k. So definitely is a good set. If I mean, if you're going to do it anyways, you might as if you're going to do eight color rush anyways, you might as well do the set. Uh, we got the color rush master. So it's four. You have to do this set four times to get this guy. So basically you have to do 32 teams. They're repeatable. So you can do the same ones over and over. Um, but I honestly don't know if this card's going to be worth it. You guys can check out his stats if you want. I really, it's not a set that I'm going to make sure I do 32, you know, color rush sets so I can do this. It just doesn't seem worth it. So we got the Bears, 4-3, um, not bad. We got the Bengals, again, 4-3. We got the Bills, 3-4. We got the Broncos, zone coverage. We got the Browns with 3-4. We got the Buccaneers, which is Vert. So I might try to do this one. I like the jersey too, not bad. Then we got the Cardinals Verts, which I do like, but the Cardinals players are a little bit more expensive. So gotta decide if I wanna do it. If I like the jersey that much, I'll do it. If not, <clears throat> might not do it. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Next, we have the Chargers, and that's a West Coast. Jersey looks nice, though. Chiefs, West Coast, kind of looks like their normal jersey there. Colts, West, uh, that's man coverage. Um, then we got Cowboys, which is power run. And if you guys notice, the Cowboys is white. Some jerseys are dark, some are white. All the ones that are dark are the home jerseys, even if it's black, it doesn't matter. Um, and then the light jerseys are the away jerseys. So that's how you couple them together and get two plus two to a, a chemistry or you can have like plus one power run for the away jersey plus one for verts for the the uh, home jersey or whatever you try to do so dolphins i like this jersey west coast ah, not too interested love the eagles black jersey it's what i'm wearing right now uh actually mine's an older style mine's the older style but it's still i mean it's still a jersey uh, West Coast, don't know if I'll do it. Maybe, I'll try, maybe. We have the Falcons, which I really like. 4-3, so if I could get a cheap gold uh, Verts coach, I might do it. <clears throat> we got the 49ers, who I really like. The black and red. West Coast. Uh, Bill, or this is not the Bills. It looks like the Bills. New York Giants, Color Rush is just the Bills jersey. <laughs> it's stupid, but power run for them. Uh, and again, that's an away jersey. Jaguars looks like Bart for the bucket zone coverage. We got the Jets man coverage. We got Lions. I like the Lions colors. Verts, so I might try to do that one. Um, Packers vert again. Four three for the Panthers. Like that color. Patriots zone run. We got the Raiders who looks pretty nice. Four three. Um, we got the Rams right here. Four three. Ravens who does it? It doesn't look exactly like their actual color rush that's a lot of these don't look exactly like it but i like their their color rush is unique i think uh that's a vert so we might try to do that uh redskins again looks kind of like the jaguars barf in a bucket zone run right there <clears throat> uh this is the saints looks pretty nice west coast seattle which everybody and their brothers trying to do uh, people like the the neon green zone cover um steelers i like the steelers three four um, here is the Houston Texans. Looks pretty nice zone run. Titans, who does it again? It, the jerseys don't quite look exactly like they do for the color rush thing, but it's a vert one. I'm, I'll probably try to get that one, especially since I got the uh, the collectibles and the Vikings for man coverage. So that is it. Those are all the sets. 
what are you guys going to try to do? I know I'm going to try to do some of the vert ones. Um, definitely probably do the Titans first since I already have those collectibles. Be able to do an away jersey as well and definitely make sure I get that plus or the tier two for vert. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it was a little bit longer. I just wanted to show you guys all the color rush, all the team of the weeks and definitely open up that new bundle. So hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.